November 2013 was my first one, and then I did the one in November right behind it in the same time. So I lost a whole lot then, and then I gained back. So I came back. I wasn't feeling good. Then I came because I had um, oh, yeah. high blood pressure, and they told me I had to have heart surgery. I never had high blood pressure in my life. I had at that time the highest anyone said they ever saw, and they were claiming I had heart attacks that nobody says I had, but they said I had. And I left, signed myself out, left. I had saw her speak like two or three times before, and she was down the street from the hospital. So I took off my robe and left and walked to Halstead and told my mom to pick me up. <laughs> and she was feverishly driving to the hospital, telling me to stay in the hospital. I was already at Karen's. So I signed up for the class and um, felt much better and haven't had blood pressure since or no surgery. How much did it go down after that first class? Do you remember? Oh, after the first class, it went into normal range. I was at like something super crazy, like three or something mm -hmm. over like 200, 220 or something when they kept me. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were saying I was having heart attacks while I was sitting there talking to them normal mm -hmm. and running around. I just went because I felt sleepy and a migraine that I could not get rid of and that was it. And then went to her class that next Week, was it? Mm -hmm. like a week? It was a week it was later. Like they were starting right away. I went, and by the next class, I was down. And I just making those small changes in what she ate brought the blood pressure down. Yeah. So I haven't gone back to meat since mm -hmm. then. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone back to meat ever. Actually, I went to fish, but now I'm back to. I don't even know if I want fish now after this. Um, I didn't necessarily like completely fall off the wagon like I didn't go back to meat I didn't go back to eating cheese I don't eat cheese because I get sinus stuff it was more um I just didn't I just don't feel good and then that's when I detox I feel better but my what I had on my thing to do was to um be more aware and exactly like <laughs> that's what I wrote about what I am doing about those choices so like if if you're eating um, one of my favorite restaurants they have fried avocados like that's the best but I don't really need fried avocados like so I see that that's the stuff I'm doing I'm still eating vegetables but I'm eating the like some of the worst mm -hmm. and I do it because of what you're saying when you go on vacation I want to do everything everyone else does my friends don't want to go with me because they're like you're gonna ruin our whole eating experience because you're gonna <laughs> eat good and we eat awful it makes them feel bad so they're like, let's all get fried avocados and we can feel like we're friends again. So it's hard to like, that's the part. And, and like social hours while my life has become like no more at the club at night. Now everybody wants to do five o'clock, we meet somewhere. So um, it's gotten me better to think like, there's a lot of choices I can go out to still. Like she said, you can always find stuff. It's what you want to look for. So now I'm like, I'm good because I feel so much better the other way. I had my picture, but I saw myself too in that picture. I think. If Did you, you put them up yet? Yeah. Oh, she's got them. If you keep your pictures, I think it makes you remember and go back because oh, yeah. that's me from beginning <laughs> to end. I'm probably back in the middle of the, I'm not all the way at the end, but I'm in the middle somewhere again. But um, I felt so much better. But with this she's one, a diva, no matter what size she is. <laughs> <laughs> 